everyone. All right, so um, I'm going to continue for, from where I stopped in the you know previous video. Okay, so in the previous video, I stopped at you know structure. I think how to yes, how to create a professional video. Okay, so I talked about video cover letter. You know, people use it these days, especially if you're applying to a foreign countries or um, it's specifically requested for, or you just feel like let me make a video. You just include a link, just like I shared in the previous um, video. You can just save it in a link and then you add to your resume or you add to your email messages that this is my cover letter. Okay, so let's just dive into, you know, how to create a professional video cover letter, okay? So the first thing is you have to prepare your speech. Just see um, your video cover letter as if you are trying to pitch yourself. You are trying to, just like you want to apply for a grant, or you are trying to pitch your business in such a way that you are going to be qualified for that grant. Okay, so same with a professional video cover letter. You have to prepare yourself. You have to know what you want to say. You have to know, you know, the, the exceptional uh, communication that you have to put in place so that you would be, you know, you would be um, qualified for the job, right? So the first thing you do is to prepare your speech because if you don't prepare your speech, trust me, you might make mistakes. Don't just feel like you know what to say in your head. No. You know, when it comes to cover letter, you have to um, come up with content that specifically talks about the job that you're applying for. You don't just talk about, I'm good, I'm smart, I, I know everything and all that. No. It's better to prepare. You know, preparation is it matters. Even though in life, you know, preparation really, really matters. So you have to prepare, you know, prepare your speech, everything that you want to see. Make sure you prepare it line by line. And when you are preparing it, be sure to include your name. That is introducing yourself. Introduce yourself if you're in school. Let them know that my name is, um, for example, my name is Lua Shawolabi. I'm an um, undergraduate of the University of, you know. Introduce yourself. Mention your name. And if you're working already, you can talk about, you know, your industry or something. Then you talk about the job that you're applying for. Don't worry, by the time we dive into how to write a professional cover letter, you understand because you can use the rating also, you know, to memorize for the video. So you can use both. But for a professional video, you know, you're going to be, um, be it's going to be virtual, something that people can watch. So you need to make sure that it's in following this, everything that you're going to be saying, include the following, your name, the job that you're applying for, or the general industry. Just maybe you are preparing a general cover letter because there are specific cover letter also. Maybe let's say a particular company, you know the company that you're applying for. So you have to mention the name of the company, the job, the job role, and how your how your values, you know, how your skills and experience, uh, you know, can add values to the organization. So a brief uh, a brief description of your work experience, what makes you qualified for the new position, any additional details at all that can help introduce yourself to employers, and then a closing. A closing is very, very important. So in preparation of your speech, you have to include all the following. Make sure that none of it is missing. So after, and when you are preparing your speech, make sure that you are wearing a professional dress, okay? It's just once a video that you're going to do, you know, and you're going to be sending out there. So make sure that you're wearing a professional um, address because if you are also going for an interview, if you're also going for an interview, you'll be required to you know, dress properly and look good. So you have to do the same for a professional video. Make sure that the background that you're going to be using is going to be a good one, a plain one. You can even arrange books. You know how um, top thought leaders do these days that really want to do a live session. You see them have something like uh, bookshelves and all that. So you can just find a place like that. You can sit down in an office. Oh no, I think you should sit down. <laughs> you should sit down where you have bookshelves or use a plain background. It's much more better because you are using a place where you're sitting in an office and you're looking for a job. I don't know how you're going to, you know, how you're going to back up that point. So um, in preparing your speech, these are the things that you need to, you know, include. And the reason I'm not going to dive much into it is because I'm going to explain how you're going to write a professional cover letter, which you can also use for a professional video cover letter, okay? So after preparing your speech, then you rehearse and you record it. Make sure that you're recording in a place where there is no noise and they can easily hear your voice. Your voice is bold and um, you have to feel comfortable wherever you want to do the, um, the recording. 
make sure there is no distractions, you know. Like I said, they're changing to your professional business attire and prepare your pre appearance before recording. Yes, it's very, very important. You have to dress well. You have to look good. And there is nothing bad in realizing your speech before you make a video so that you won't make mistakes and so that you'll be able to correct yourselves, you know, many times so that you can land, you know, a good... um a good preparation, okay? And uh, finally, do your final editing and save in Google Drive, okay? Just in case maybe in some areas um, you made a mistake or you want to edit some areas, you want to remove some things, fine, you can do your final editing. You can edit using different house. I really don't know about video editing, but you can use, if you know of any, you can edit it so that it will look perfectly, add good lightning and all that. Then you save in Google Drive. So when you save in Google Drive, you are going to generate a link from you know, that video that you saved in Google Drive and you make it accessible so that once you get the link, you can add it to your CV, your resume, or you can add it to the mail that you'll be sending to you know, your employer, the recruiter, or the hiring manager. So it's very, very important. That's just the, you know, the short um, ways to create a professional video. You can start you know, realizing that and you can also use it for your LinkedIn your, you know, profile. LinkedIn allows you to use um, video introduction instead of your profile picture. Yeah. So structure of a professional cover letter. Now we are going into how to write a professional cover letter. The structure, the path that you must follow, the order. So there are many ways to write a cover letter and conventions may differ from sector to sector. So you cannot use um, a one size fits all template for every application because each job role might be different. You can't use the same cover letter for accounting, you can use it for engineering, you can use it for content writing, so they have to be different. So if you are stuck in writing a cover letter for the first time, then the common, the following structure is a reasonable place to start. It uses a common four structure, four paragraph structure that most employers will find suitable. Yeah, you know, for every professional cover letter, it follows four paragraphs. But the reason why it might be, it might be more than four paragraphs is if the person have, you know, more experience that requires e him or her talking about it in different paragraphs. But most importantly, cover letter is always in four paragraphs. So you start with um, the receiver address. The receiver address, that's if you know the receiver address. It's not everything that you need to put the address, then you, the salutation, DSA or ma, or if you know the person's, if you know the HR's name, you can just write dear Adebola, dear Mike, dear, if you know the, um, that's if you know the um, recruiter or the hiring manager, but if you don't know, you can use dear Sir Omar or dear hiring manager. Yes, dear hiring manager. So paragraph one has to talk about why are you writing? So, you know, you can't just jump into writing something when you don't have something in mind that you want to write about. It's not possible. You can't just hold your pen and say, I want to start writing. You must have something in mind that you want to put out there. So, Talking about professional cover letter also, you must have a reason, a, a reason in mind why you want to apply for this job. So for the two points I say, I say what say what job you're applying for and where you saw it advertised, include a few key a few key details. Each you are graduating from the University of Cambridge with a degree in history. There's a I get I live I live I, I I had it two examples, like I'm currently in my first year at Oxford University studying computer science and would like to apply for a social media management internship as advertised on your website and LinkedIn page. So in case you must have seen um, the job application somewhere, so you can just write it so that they know that, okay, this is where you got you know, the info from. There is nothing bad in that. You can include where you got the information from. So the second one, the second example here is, I'm writing in regard to your job opening of a social media manager needed in your media firm. As a candidate with extensive experience in this role, I'm highly skilled in content creation and page management as I've been doing this over three years now. That's, that can be your first paragraph. You will see other, you know, you see different examples also in the templates that you'll be downloading. So these are just few examples for, you know, just to explain this paragraph one. Paragraph two, what do you bring to the job? What are you bringing to the table? So this is where you show the research you have done by prioritizing the most important skills and experience. This is where you give the employer two or three highlights. Like I said, you know, I said it's four paragraphs, but when it comes to you giving them this highlight, your previous experience, how you have added value to some other organizations, you know, it might be more than one paragraph, but it's majorly four paragraphs. So when you're trying to explain this part, you might need to, you know, it may, you may not, you may need to, you know, maybe had more paragraphs to it. 
that if your experiences is much let's say you want to talk about you know about your experience with like three organizations you know you can't just say everything at once it will be so tight in together everything will be rumbled together so you have to go, leave good space by you know adding maybe more, more paragraph you will see you will see the example in the template i gave you yeah not everything is four paragraphs so you see an example. So you can give the employer two or three highlights, pick your best, most relevant stories to show where you had success. Maybe in my previous work at, you know, Exxon Mobil, I was able to increase um, the impulse by 80% with my communication skills, which is also one of the key, key skills needed in your organization. You know, something like that, you know, you just give them, give them like three highlights and you adapt your language to the employers. Maybe you are asked to, you know, apply for, you know, in the JD, in the job description of that job that you want to apply for, there will be some particular language that is put there. Maybe they need, they need a patient, um, they need a communication specialist and some, something like that. So you add it, you use their language. That's what is going to adapt your language to the employers. Maybe in the JD, it's written that uh, we need a self-improvement or a, a, a growth, you know, something, all these words they are using their JD. So you use their words for them because these are the things they are actually looking for. They want to see how you've, you know, you read about the JD and everything. So what I do is when I want to write cover letter for people, I tell them, send me the link to the, you know, to the websites or wherever you you know you saw the job um the job application or the job opening so that I can read the words and I can use it in the cover letter because it's very very important you have to use um the language for them you have to add your language to the employers you have to make sure that it aligns okay so here is the, is an example. My responsibility have included the development and management of website editorial. You know, this is just talking about your experiences, you know, and experience that starts me out to build strong relationships. Can you see that strong relationships with all departments? In this also, by the time you read this finish, you understand that the person, okay, have technical knowledge, team orientation, you know, customer audience, see customer service. So you have to include everything in your just like when you're explaining your previous experience, then you have to include all these things there because these are the things that they also need in their organization. So you have to, you know, add this there also. Yeah. So paragraph three, this is now when you now talk about why you want the job. It's just like when you are talking about grants, you know, first of all, you introduce yourself. You talk about the works that you have done in the past. You know, that's paragraph two, because I, I write, you know, grants, proposals, and all that. So I have knowledge about these things. So when you're talking about grants, you introduce yourself. Secondly, you talk about the work that you have done, the impact that you have made, you know, before you now talk about why you think you are qualified for the grants. So if somebody that has done a good work in the past, then when you are qualified for a grant, then the grant will make you to make more impact, then you emphasize on it. Same with cover letter. You've talked about your experience and you, how you're able to add values. And now in paragraph three, you are going to emphasize more on what you will do at the company if you're employed. So why do you want this job? That is where you now bring that in. Why do you want to do this particular job at this particular organization? How did you find out about the work makes them different from their peers and comp competitors? Why does this um, appeal to you? Avoid as a style cliches, uh, aging, probably, you know, avoid all those ones. Because some people like going to, according to tech industry and all that, you know, just avoid all those things. So example, when I saw the job of me, I knew it was perfect opportunity to offer you both my social media marketing skill and people skills. I've included in my resume, so you can learn about my educational background and all my work is my thank you for your time and consultation. You might choose to also elongate on this part why you need, maybe I've always dreamt of, you know, working in Exxon Mobil and seeing this kind of opportunity with a perfect skill for, you know, my, my, my study or my course of study at the university. I think I'll be able to bring my skills, experience and educational background into, you know, your organization. Then adding so, 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 blah, 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 and blah. So you can just add it to it. Then, Paragraph four talks about the conclusion. So if there is anything else you want to add that like you need to tell the employer, maybe days you can attend the interview, you can use this paragraph for the conclusion or 
Um, another point is many people think the employer for, of course, I think it's just cool, especially by Nigerian to, you know, thank the employer for considering your application because those are all those, all these words actually, you know, compel them to take their time, you know, at least to think over your application again. You have to be appreciative. You have to be somebody that has, you know, um, good character and behavior. And you can also show it via what you write, what you put on your cover letter. For example, thanks for your time and consideration. I look forward to learning more about the sales position and trade lot. Growth is essential to my continuous and I'm excited for the chance to be a part of trade lot industry leading team. My proven track record and trade record is a winning combination for increasing the company market share, okay? So you see, this can also be paragraph three because this conclusion seems longer because this person actually included, let's say, both paragraph three and four, or the person added more, needed, uh, has written more than um, required paragraph and decided to round this up in the last paragraph. So you can choose to write just to this way. Just make sure that it doesn't exceed one page. Everything else to be one page. That's cover letter for you. So, and then,